Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Bas and in this video I'm going to knit some cool socks in two colors of yarn on my simple Knitax knitting machine. Basic machine, a lot of fun to use. Let's get started. I'm going to use a sock pattern that's used a lot by machine knitters. Uh, especially uh, this version is for single bed machine knitters. You start with the cuff, then you knit the leg. You take a quarter on each side of in waist yarn. You continue with the upper foot, then you knit the toe. You continue with the bottom foot and you knit the heel. Finally, you take it off on waist yarn and you sew the sock together. The yarn I'm going to use is this basic sock yarn. It's a, a four ply. It's got 420 meters on a 100 gram ball and it consists out of 75% uh, wool and 25% polymid. Perfect for socks. I have knitted a lot of socks before and I know that on this machine and with this yarn I have a gauge of 30 stitches and 44 rows by 10 by 10 centimeters. So with the pattern I'm going to knit and my foot size, I can calculate how many stitches and how many rows I need to knit for this sock. But first I'm going to make yarn cakes from my balls of yarn. It knits way more easily than directly from the ball. I have a ball winder over here. I'm going to attach it to the table. And I'm going to wind my balls into yarn cakes. Yarn cakes are done. Casting on for the sock. I'm going to add the ribber to the machine. Click. I'm going to put the stitch size for the main bed on six. And for the ribber on seven. I'm going to select 17 needles in a one by one division, which means 35 on the left and 35 stitches on the right. I'm checking all the latches from the main bed are open. I'm adding the ribbon needles in between the main bed needles. And I'm checking all the latches are closed. They are in upper position. Then I put my main bed needles into working position. I have my main bed carriage on the left and my ribber carriage on the right. I'm taking my yarn and putting it on the floor. And I'm going to wrap the needles to cast on for one by one rib. Yarn under the sinker. Wrapping the needles counterclockwise over the main bed needles, clockwise over the ribbon needles. I take my main bed carriage across from left to right. Now the yarn is behind the latches of the main bed. I hook my yarn under the sinker to the rightmost needle and I lay my yarn into the needle hooks of the ribber needles. And I take my ribber carriage across first. Now I put my row counter on zero. And I take my main bed carriage across. First row of ribbing. I continue like this for 22 rows of ribbing. Twenty-two rows of ribbing. Now I'm going to transfer all the ribbon needles to the main bed. And 
gonna take my ribber off the machine. Here is my ribbing. I'm going to move the outer needles one stitch inward. And I continue knitting with 34 stitches on the right and 34 stitches on the left. Now I'm going to knit the leg part of the sock for 75 rows. Seventy five rows, carriage on the left side of the machine. Now I'm going to take off in waste yarn a quarter on the left, a quarter on the right. But to make sure that my yarn starts here for the next part of the sock, I'm going to knit this part and skip this part. So I'm going to put these seventeen needles into hold. And I'm going to knit three quarter of the stitches. Okay, so now my yarn is at three quarter. I have some dark red waste yarn and I'm going to use it to knit off these stitches. So what I do to knit these off is I put these 70 needles into working position and I put the rest into holding position. So now I have knitted the ribbing and the leg. Taken off the stitches on waist yarn and I'm going to continue with the upper foot. I'm going to put my row counter on zero, needles into work. And my yarn is exactly at the right needle and I continue to knit 88 rows. I finished knitting the upper foot and I'm going to continue with the toe. Short rowing and I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to hook my yarn in the yarn stopper on the right of the machine. I'm going to put one needle to hold on the opposite side of the carriage. And I'm going to lay in my yarn in between the working needles and the needle into hold. And we're going to short row until 30 needles are left in the middle. Six on the left, six on the right, including the zero needle is 30 needles. Now I'm going to put another needle into hold on the opposite side of the carriage. And I'm going to wrap the yarn around the last needle I put into hold. I'm going to drop it in between the needles that are in work and are into hold. And I take my carriage across. I put a needle into holding position on the opposite side of the carriage. I'm wrapping the yarn around the last needle I put into hold. I lay it into the needle hooks and I drop my yarn in between the needles that are into working position and into hold. I put one needle into hold on the opposite side of the carriage. I'm going to wrap my yarn around the last needle I put into hold going to lay it in the needles and drop it in between. One needle into hold, wrap the last needle, drop it in between. Into hold, wrap, drop it in between. Into hold, wrap the last needle, drop it in between. The cool thing about this machine is that it has sinkers, so it pushes the knitting down, which makes short rowing the toe and the heel for socks super easy. Final needle into hold, wrap the yarn, drop it in between, 
carriage across. Now I need to short row out, which means I'm going to put one needle into a working position on the opposite side of the carriage, this needle. I do not have to wrap the yarn around the needles for short rowing out. So I come up in between the needles that are in hold and into work and I drop it in between the needles that are into work and in holding position. Opposite side of the carriage, one needle back into work, come up in between the needles and drop it in between. Last needle back into working position. So now we have knitted the toe. I'm going to continue with the bottom foot. I have several options. I can knit it just like the upper foot or I can seam as you go. And that's what I'm going to do today, which means I'm going to pick up stitches from the side and hang them on the outer needles. So I seam as I go. And to do so, you always do it on the opposite side of the carriage. You have a stitch on the needle, which makes an elongated stitch below. Then you have a small stitch, which is a knot, and you have another elongated stitch. I pick that stitch up and I put it onto the needle behind the latch. Needle into work. I do not wrap the yarn under the sinker because I want to make a very tight stitch when I seam as I go. So I lay in the yarn and I take my carriage across. Same on the other side. This is the toe and this is the foot. So you can start to see the sock coming along. So now we have knitted the bottom foot and we continue with the heel and again I'm going to take the blue yarn color and we're going to short row in same way as we did the toe. So I'm putting one needle into holding position at the opposite side of the carriage. I lay the yarn in between the needles in hold and in work and I take my carriage across. Needle into hold, wrap the needle, drop in between, carriage across. Into hold, wrap the needle, drop in between, carriage across. Now I have 13 needles left, 6 on the left side of 0, 6 on the right side and the 0 needle. And I'm going to short row out, which means I'm going to put one needle that's into hold into working position on the opposite side of the carriage. When I short row out, I do not have to wrap the needles. So in between and I drop it in between. 
one needle back into work, the yarn in between the needles and in between. Final needle on the left, final needle on the right, and now we have knitted the heel and I'm going to take my knitting off on waist yarn. My first sock is knitted and now I'm going to knit the second one. And here are my two socks. So we have the toe and we need to weave in the ends. We have the heel, we need to weave in the ends. We need to close up the back seam on the leg and close up the heel. And then our sock is finished. Now the second sock. Okay, so this is how I knit socks on my Knitox M2 knitting machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. I wish you happy knitting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!